aid workers still find it difficult to reach the east side of Derna, which is suffering from the lack of clean water, basic food item, and immediate medical care. However, we've been hearing uh, some sort of good news that uh, the, the rescue teams are doing their best and they are trying now to reach the eastern side of Derna. Uh, so far, there is uh, uh, news that uh, 20 people have been saved. There was a whole family uh, was saved uh, in Derna after uh, staying over than 200 hours stuck uh, under the rubble. Uh, as you mentioned, uh, the, the, the rival governments, the both conflicted parties uh, who have uh, contributed directly or indirectly in such disaster, they were forced to work together after all of this uh, solidarity and unity forms they've seen from the Libyan people. They were uh, pushed and forced to jointly uh, work together into, response, into responding to, to such a disaster. However, the rescue teams that we have, they lack the expertise. They were supported with a few uh, international uh, rescue teams who have uh, the technical knowledge, the experience, the, the specialized equipment, yet there are limited numbers, there are limited teams. The situation that we face, it needs and requires much bigger uh, efforts, uh, bigger numbers in terms of rescue teams. As you can see, every single day, there is some sort of hope by finding and saving a few lives here and there to a whole family. Uh, we, we, we never thought something like that would happen. They've been stuck for 200 hours and they were saved and all of them, they are in a good condition, so they're alive. So such, such uh, uh, indicators, such good uh, news from here and there just uh, encourage us and uh, support the, the, the demand and the request from more international rescue teams, and it's not too late, and there's something we can do in these uh, next 24 or 48 hours.